tutorial, I'm going to use a little bit of math to discuss marginal revenue and price elasticity of demand. And I'm going to prove this equation. The E is elasticity, the capital E, and the P is price. So marginal revenue is equal to price times 1 over elasticity plus 1. Let me prove that for you now and show you how this all works. I put quantity on the x-axis and price on the y-axis and draw on a demand curve. Price is P and Q is quantity. So total revenue is equal to quantity times price or Q times P. And I can write this as QP like that. Now, if I change price just a little bit, and it doesn't matter if I change a positive or a negative, it just changed. The new price is price plus the change in price. And the new quantity becomes the quantity plus the change in quantity. Again, change in can be either negative or positive, not necessarily good or bad. It's just change. So I have new prices and new quantities. So my new total revenue is equal to quantity, my new quantity, times my new price. And again, this is just quantity times price. And using a bit of algebra, I take quantity times price, which is QP, plus quantity times the change in price, plus change in quantity times price, plus the change in quantity times change in price. In reality, what we do is, in economics, we do really, really small changes in price and really, really small changes in quantity, which makes something small times something small, we can ignore it. Just accept that. Really, really small times really, really small. We just ignore it. My original total revenue was equal to quantity times price. So new total revenue minus total revenue where I started is change in revenue. So the quantity times price in the top equation and the bottom equation are the same, and this equates to zero, or not, as the British say. So I bring down quantity times change in price, plus change in quantity times price, and this is my change in revenue. Now by definition, marginal revenue is the change in revenue due to a change in quantity by definition. And I can write it like this, that change over Q. So I divide both sides of this equation by change over Q, change in quantity, and this is equal to marginal revenue. Now I'm going to take this fraction, this big one, and I'm going to break it into two smaller fractions. So I end up with quantity times the change in price divided by the change in quantity plus the change in quantity times price divided by the change in quantity. And luckily, those two change in quantities cancel out. This gives me the quantity times change in price divided by change in quantity plus price. I'm going to rewrite that over right there and keep going. I'm going to take that first fraction and multiply it times P over P or price over price, which is actually the same thing as multiplying it times 1. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. I'll show you. Now I'm going to rewrite this equation over. I'm going to put some parentheses around it, though. Now I'm going to factor out that price. So I'll make those orange so you can see them a little bit better. I'm going to take that P, these two P's, and just factor them out. So that leaves one left behind. 
Now I'm going to tidy up the equation a little bit and slide that Q over. And I will tell you what elasticity is. Elasticity is equal to price divided by quantity times the change in quantity divided by a change in price. That turns out just to be the inverse of each other. So I'm going to swap the top and bottoms. That's the same thing as dividing by 1. So 1 divided by elasticity. And I'll swap the Q and the P and the other part of the equation just like that. So this is equal to 1 over E. 1 over elasticity. So now I'll bring it all down and say price times... 1 over E or 1 over elasticity plus 1. This all equals to marginal revenue. And there you have it. And that would be the proof or one of the mathematical proofs for this.